I'm Mike Bowers. I'm talking pitches this morning with the host with the most from the roast, the one and only Tom Glasson, who uh, appears at 8.10 usually on ABC2. Usually, ABC yes, thanks for having me. Now, the wink. Are you a winker? <laughs> I, I, I thought maybe I might be, but I don't know if he's made wink retro cool again or he's ruined it for everyone. Well, I, th I think he's ruined the wink for everyone. But look, I've got to say, I've seen him wink before. He is a total winker. He's a massive winker. He's a massive yeah. winker. Big winker. <laughs> um, Lovely little Kathy Wilcox that went with this radio dog whistle, she's called it, uh, which is uh, rather nice. Apparently he was just reassuring John Fain. I think that's it. Or, or the sun was coming through and he was just squinting a little bit. You yeah. can never tell. In delivering the budget, Tom, it seems like the government's been fairly economical with the truth. It is amazing. I was thinking that line from A Few Good Men where he says, you know, it doesn't matter what I believe, it only matters what I can prove. And it's like, well, it doesn't matter what Tony Abbott can prove, it only matters what got him elected. Yeah. And then after that, who cares? Who cares? Um, lovely lay. Our AAA credit rating is under three if the budget doesn't get get through. Standard & Poor's rating agency says that's not true. Yeah, since when has the truth got anything to do with it? Which is kind of where we're at. <laughs> um, David Pope, I think, is probably having the finest year in cartooning that I've seen him. He really has hit his straps this year. He sees uh, uh, Tony Abbott as having a bypass, so a complete <laughs> promisectomy. This was Which... my favourite. That emergency procedure when they say you've uh, been diagnosed with talking out of your ass. <laughs> you have to quick plug the gap, I think. <laughs> a complete promisectomy and transplant is a fairly routine operation this day, these days, right Joe? But I love the heart, I love the, yeah, sort of the heart of promise being replaced by this cold steel sharp budget heart. Yeah. Probably, you know, is ex explaining why the blood's not pumping to the brain quite as well. Mark Knight sees the government as up on the uh, the papal balcony after years of Labor disunity. We've brought down a budget that unites a nation. Very much like the enemy of my enemy on this one, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Like everyone's down. You know, the little touch of Julie Bishop yeah, being swamped, I thought was getting, nice. She's getting swamped here, you know. And again with the, the Shrek, I find this interesting, this sort of semi-Shrek look for Joe Hockey, yeah. which is interesting because Shrek is quite... Beloved and, yeah. and you know, the yeah. sort of misunderstood monster. Mr. Gadelka is also one of the cartoonists I think who's having just some of the best years that I've, I've, I've seen. As uh, He's got a good opposition that has lost its way with um, all of them heading in the opposite direction to the way they promised. And I love the little touch again of the cigars but the ashes set fire to the sort of liar liar budgies on fire <laughs> kind of situation. <laughs> David Rowe has just been transfixed by the cigar uh, smoking uh, episode and he's got uh, the Cigars' news poll and the Nielsen poll and Mr Turnbull here is, uh, seems to be about to tap off a very cindery looking uh, Mr Rowe. Isn't it? I mean the fact that it's still hanging around this image is that idea that every cigarette is doing you harm. Right? Yeah, yeah. cigars really, <laughs> that lingers, that smell sticks to you. Mr Zanetti sees that someone who has well and truly benefited from the uh, Abbott budget as being uh, Bill Shorten. This was brilliant. We'll put him down in the 4% better off under the Abbott budget. As, uh, as the polls, as going, the polls through the roof. going through yeah. the roof. Um, Tom, it's been great uh, catching up and unravelling the events of the week and uh, we can catch more of you and your team at yep. uh, about 8.10 as you, uh, as you uh, on ABC2. Very much, so thanks for having me. And I'll let you do the honours. Brilliant. Back to you, Fran. <laughs> thanks very much. They're just not going to live down those cigars, are they?